Religious leaders from around the world come together to demand ban on gay conversion therapy. Here's a summary of the article. Almost 400 religious leaders from each of the world's leading faiths have called for national governments to end laws that discriminate against same-sex relationships while also demanding an end to LGBT plus conversion therapies. Signatories, including anti-apartheid campaigner and former Archbishop of Cape Town, Desmond Tutu, and Bishop of Liverpool, call for an end to violence and criminalization against LGBT plus people and for a global ban on conversion therapy. Meanwhile the only places to have introduced nationwide bans on conversion therapy are Brazil, Ecuador, Malta and Germany. Boris Johnson has previously pledged to abolish the practice, which can include shock treatments and religious components including prayer and exorcism, style events, with the PM calling it, absolutely abhorrent. The statement from faith leaders comes ahead of the Foreign Office-sponsored Global Interfaith Commission on LGBT plus lives. We fully support its call to end violence, discrimination and the ongoing criminalization of same-sex conduct in 69 countries, adding that conversion therapy was an abhorrent practice and should be stopped. It would be lovely to say it has nothing to do with us, but our religious traditions have driven conversion therapy, particularly, she added. This post received a score of 36,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Maybe it's time to stop calling it therapy. The thing people always miss with gay conversion is it tends to be kids living with their parents who have it forced on them. Kids then have no choice but to go through with it, say it's working as otherwise they become homeless. This, a, sets up a very dangerous power dynamic where kids have to behave, say, not report anything their therapist does, which frankly is not safe with religious groups. B. Parents think this sort of therapy is successful as kids have to say it works to avoid becoming homeless. I'm thankful every day that my parents stopped at a bunch of passive-aggressive letters and pamphlets on my bed suggesting conversion therapy and didn't try to force it on me. I was lucky that I was old enough and had extended family supportive enough that if it came down to it I could have left but it would have made a shitty situation much, much worse. Feeling lucky that your family didn't force you to be tortured and brainwashed to fit their whims and only, suggested, it is a really fucked up thing to be grateful for. Makes me so sad for the kids who weren't so, lucky. I hope you're in a better place now, friend. Trump judges think that gay conversion therapy is freedom of speech. I want to say something along the lines of, then abortion should also be seen as a freedom of speech issues, but I don't want to compare the quackery of conversion therapy to a legitimate medical procedure. So let's just advocate for those voicing feelings of homosexuality as also expressing their own equally valid free speech. Let's support the truth from those who have not purely hetero thoughts. Let's also tell the religious or other homophobes to stop projecting their own inner struggles with feeling attracted to their own sex. Right here right now I'll pledge to blow any of the religious right, if it will change their worldview. Greater than I have changed people's opinion of the world with my blowjobs before. Kiss Mark, I'm a six feet guy with a full beard by the way. Someone get this man a hotel room and a water bottle. We have work to do. I still can't believe homosexuality has negative connotations despite evidence of it existing as far back as the first texts ever written by humans. Well in organized religion you make more people join the religious movement by either converting people, or just making more people. Hundreds to thousands of years ago the only way to make people was a man and woman fucking. Ergo any type of fucking not for that express purpose was frowned upon, and homosexual fucking was the most pointless, so it was seen as the worst. It's also why masturbation and contraception are also seen as sinful in certain religions. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.